It seems I've found my true calling, ladies and gentlemen. At the core of my being, I am an artist creating majestic sculptures out of refuse. Sadly, the world's main auction sites won't allow me to sell my highly prized works of art. I've been going back and forth with the eBay trust and safety team about this. You remember eBay, don't you? eBay is the site where you can purchase a variety of products that could be offensive to Christians. For instance, here's a t-shirt that says, I can't go to church. I'm allergic to nuts. This t-shirt is called Snarky Atheist Christian Lion Food Men's T-shirt. It says, Christian Supply Store, because your lions get hungry. Get it? Christians are food for lions. Here's Jesus riding a T-Rex. Here's Jesus with a shotgun. Here's Jesus with fake news across his face. Here's Jesus with a skull face. Here's Jesus holding Baphomet. Jesus has 666 tattooed on his hand. I guess it could be 999. Here's a t-shirt that says, Jesus saves. But it's because he's a soccer goalie. Here's a t-shirt that says, I found Jesus. He was hiding behind the couch. Here's a guy throwing a cross in the trash. Here's a guy throwing a Bible in the trash. It's how you save the planet. Here's a t-shirt of a boot stomping on a crucifix. Here's a t-shirt that says, Satan sucks, Jesus swallows. You can purchase a variety of Piss Christ items. These feature an image of Jesus soaking in urine. There are also music CDs with a similar theme. You can buy Piss on Christ, or you can buy Piss on Christ 2, Censored Jesus Up the Censored. So, eBay has absolutely no problem selling items that are very offensive to Christians. But what happens if you try to sell an item that could be offensive to Muslims? As we saw in a previous video, I put an origami pig up for auction. Even though the bid was up to $1,175, eBay ended the auction. I asked why, and eBay replied that the item could be offensive to Muslims. There's nothing in eBay's policies about not offending Muslims, so I asked for some clarification. Here's eBay's response. David, first, I appreciate you contacting us with regards to your concern. We highly value your time and effort just to let us know what happened here. I thoroughly check on the item Original Origami Folk Art Two-Piece Handmade Pig, autographed, condition new, under item number, blah, blah, blah. I see the reason why it is removed by our system. Seeing here, this lovely artwork of yours is really stunning and a piece of art. Oh, eBay, I'm so glad your trust and safety team admitted that this is a work of art. However, this item could be offensive to Muslims and won't be allowed on eBay. Please check this link. This will explain the reason why. Yes, this is the eBay Trust and Safety Team sending yours truly a Wikipedia article on the Islamic view of pork, which is somehow supposed to clarify why I'm not allowed to sell an origami pig in the United States of America. Aside from that, David, if we check closely on the characters written on your artwork, it shows Arabic characters written on it. It can be offending on their end if they see that their calligraphy or language is written on an item or object which is considered as taboo on them. I hope I have explained well on why the said listing is removed. Before I end this email, I just want you to know that you are very important to us. We may be facing a very difficult situation right now, but I know that soon we will all get through this. Be safe and take care. How can someone so amazingly polite be so incredibly blind to the hypocrisy of his company. I've already informed eBay that I'd like to move forward to third-party arbitration. I've done some research and it turns out that when a bidder bids on an item, he's entered into a contract with the seller. eBay is only allowed to interfere with that contract if the contract violates some written policy. But, as I said, there's nothing in eBay's policies about not offending Muslims which means that eBay illegally broke a contract between two other parties. This is actually very similar to the lawsuits that are going on with Patreon. 
Patreon is being sued because it banned certain people, and by banning certain people, it was interfering in their contracts. But the reasons Patreon gave for banning the people weren't in its written policies, so Patreon is in trouble for interfering with contractual agreements between other people. Notice, if you were bidding in my original eBay auction, eBay illegally interfered in your contract as well. Now, there's always a part of me that says, ah, oh, who cares if these guys want to be hypocrites? But there's another part of me that says, don't give these companies an inch on this. I'll keep you updated on the proceedings. In the meantime, I'd like to auction something off. It was fun having an auction. The fun was ruined by eBay's hypocrisy and pro-Sharia anti-Christian bias. But why not try something different? For the next three days, you can bid on this origami mystery bag. What's in the origami mystery bag? No one knows. It's a mystery. But I'll tell you this much. The origami mystery bag contains a handcrafted work of origami art, personally folded and signed by the greatest artist of our generation, and perhaps of all time, the Dizzle. What material did I use? You don't know, so you can't get offended. What did I fold the material into? You don't know, so you can't get offended. I suppose that after the auction is over and the winning bidder has received the item, we can always reveal what was in the mystery bag. Until then, happy bidding. The link to the auction is in the description box. Now, to all of you keyboard jihadis who are watching, run. Run to eBay and whine about my origami mystery bag. Then watch how I take your endless whining and fold it up, shape it, craft it into a beautiful work of savage mockery which will bring endless shame to the most obvious false prophet in history. It's what I do.